So uh, serving in the minority party is always a challenge. I've served both in the majority and the minority. Uh, when you're in the minority party in Oregon, your obligation is to argue hard, make better arguments, serve as the loyal opposition, uh, outline better arguments uh, with the objective of creating better policy. And how successful are you in that area? Well, I think you could look at the Senate Republicans, I think, in contrast to the House. Uh, in the last legislative session, a number of policies came over from the House and never got out of committee because they did not have bipartisan support. So, you know, the passions of the House are meant to cool uh, in, in the upper chamber, and they do. And so we're a very deliberative, very collegial body. We really do best when we have bipartisan support. And the leadership in the Senate has made it a very high priority to have both Democrats and Republicans on uh, the sponsorship line of major legislation. And we have not passed a piece of major legislation that has not had support from both parties here. So in terms of what it's like to serve in the minority, you have different roles and obligations as a minority member, uh, but the objective is still to put out the best possible public policy so that Oregonians are better served. Uh, I, I've found that to be the, the bywatch, the byword in the Senate. And I've been gratified by the fact that uh, Senate leadership almost always insists that uh, you reduce the friction of partisanship by reaching across the aisle and building policy on the broadest possible base. So that's what we see here.